Yeah, you're gonna have to talk really loud, okay? Oh, I'm doing it? Well, I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna maybe say we're here at the Minam River and you, you might say, yeah, we're looking forward to a great day of fishing. Okay. I wanna say, yeah, right, Steve, I know it's gonna happen. First of all, probably won't catch any fish, so we'll have to film other people. Okay. Then you'll probably catch a steelhead. What about me or something? What should I say? You'll get skunked. No, yeah, I'll skunked. probably get skunked. Okay. okay. All right. All right, ready? Yep. Okay, folks, today we're fishing the beautiful Wallawa River for steelhead. Should be a great day of fishing. <laughs> Yeah, it should, but I, I think I know what they have to say. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Here I am, and I'm ready to rock. I got my hip waders on, but I ain't got no socks. Got some flies and some lures in my tackle box. Yeah, I'll fish anywhere, even out of the docks. So get your fish on, come on, come on, I got a fish on, so won't you come on and fish with me, wow. don't you know it'll set you free, we're gonna catch some big fishies, so come on and fish with me, yeah. come on and fish with me. We didn't waste any time filming a local angler that obviously knew what he was doing. Some people call them winter steelhead. I think it's more of a summer fish though. Just now getting here. Where'd you catch them on? Uh, bobber and jig. Yeah, it looked like you're only here for about 15 minutes, huh? Yeah, about that. Pretty typical for this river, it seems like. What a beautiful steelhead. Very nice. Hatchery fish. Clipped out a post fan. I'm sure she's good, ready to go. There she goes. Nice job. All right, not a problem. Appreciate it. Sure. Ernie hooked into a large, powerful rainbow trout. As Steve looked on, Ernie brought... And you can also tell. Yeah, nice. Okay, she's well. unwrapped on it. She's ready yeah. to go. Okay. All right. All right. All right. nice fish. Good Thank job. Thank you very much. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. It's two we'll in be... about ten minutes, huh? We will be back. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, man. Wow, that is a nice bull trout. Well, we were back filming Ernie again. Cool. Real nice fish. Whoo, good job. But now it was my turn to hook something. I lay my head on a railroad track. Poor, poor, pitiful me. All these girls won't let me be. Oh, have mercy on me. That is one nice rock. Dang it, I thought that was a steelhead. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're fishing along this uh, train track here, and this train's coming to pick us up, and I always like to know how far the train is away. So one thing I like to do is take my head and lay it on the rail and put my ear down, and with that I can hear if there's a train coming. Right now, it seems like it's about an hour away or so. <laughs> there's a double. All right, good job. Yep, there's a double. Wow. So, Ernie's job. friend Kelly decided to join in on the action. <laughs> oh, yeah, good fish. Yeah, he doesn't like it when I get the lead on him. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Catch one of those. Yeah, there's a, oh, nice. there's a good fish. Even, huh? yeah. Did you get that? No. You got your head. <laughs> <laughs> this one's a decent fish here. Amazing. 
I barbed my hood. I pinched the barb so it could oh, fly okay. out, but I doubt it. Okay, let's see if we'll... Kelly directed this brightly colored steelhead toward him. Jeez. These guys are catching steelhead all around. What do you think? Six pounds? Six, seven pounds? Yeah. Beauty. Nice Good job. Thank nice. You, thank you. You, you aren't Thanks. very deep there. Uh, when you uh, start out, you know, you want to start out about, about waist deep. And then uh, with these bobber stops, you know, you just slide them up and... Uh, find the depth you want and you know you're switching depths all day to uh -huh. to hit different holes so uh you know that's the the key to getting it great and start shallow so you don't lose yeah a lot of these bottom. holes um you know on this i i'll almost bet you i could walk across this there's nothing you know any more than five feet deep here so you know if you're right on the bottom you know it's it's good but uh you want to be a little bit off okay so well great that's the trick and yeah nice green, green jig little pink on there that's too. what he said he was using and okay Thanks. If you fish the Wallowa River, be sure to stay at the Minam Hotel and catch the steelhead train. Folks, this is really embarrassing. Um, the train started leaving from the hotel and we thought we missed it. So Steve and I came after him and started yelling and screaming to flag down <laughs> the train and they're just switching tracks. Uh, that's pretty embarrassing. <laughs> Oh, well, it was kind of cool. They just, uh, people here at the Minam Hotel decided to let Steve and I ride up in the engine with uh, Larry. I think so. Larry. Okay. How you doing? Good. Good. So you gonna let us ride up front here? The train is a perfect way to explore the river and fish remote roadless areas in solitude. So uh, how long have you been doing this then? Well, I just retired from Union Pacific last May. I put 40 years in with them. Great. And so I just kind of come out here and donate my help and uh, have fun doing it. Yeah. See a lot of scenery. Still get to drive a train that way. Yeah. Still keep my skills up a little bit. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, what does it take to maintain these tracks? There's just profile, elevation, down the curves. There's, there's a set of rules that I have to follow, but I think my priority list right at the top of it is the distance between the rails. All right. That's, that's the main thing. Thank inches, you. 56 and a half inches is the standard gauge. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, thanks for letting us sit up here. Yeah, you bet. Nice view. It's a pretty river. Yeah, it is. Well, it is uh, a beautiful day here, even though um, we've had all kinds of weather. Snow, rain, wind, sun. Um, we're enjoying, enjoying the outdoors here, but so far, no fish. Um, right now, I'm bottom bouncing, drifting, kind of trek classic drifting style for steelhead uh, with some yarn. And how's and, that working for you? Well, great so far. I haven't been snagged as much as I did with the jigs. Uh-huh. But uh, I haven't hooked any fish yet either. Either way, so <laughs> at least this way I'm not losing gear. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Finally, the steelhead. It might be, it's either a trout or a steelhead. I saw it flashing out there, and it's nice and bright. Bobber went down. I've been getting so many snags, it's hard to keep setting the hook when you see that but this time the head bounced when I set the hook I wish I could catch one of those yeah that's beautiful man Steve congratulations dang it hopefully we won't get another fall on film here feels like a pretty good one Boy, it sure hit nicely on that jig. I just pull it up. It's a beautiful steelhead right there. I think it's a hen. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna let her go. Very nice. Right. <sighs> yes, Feels finally. Good. Finally. Yes. Ah, finally. Now I gotta catch one. Yes, it's your turn.
Ah, oh, man, that's a lot of hours in to get that fish. Yeah, sure is. Hopefully there's more to come. It's right in that spot where uh, Ernie told us yesterday, so. All right. All right. Good job, Steve. Thanks. Oh. It's the black and white jig. I hooked it on. Where the sun is just coming out now. Yeah. It is so beautiful. Maybe that'll turn the fish on. Yeah, let's hope so. Yeah. Cool, Steve. Sweet. Nice job, buddy. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Steve, I think it's a good one. Steve. It is. Steelhead. Okay, I just gotta be. It's a big fish. It's a big fish out there. Yeah, I was fishing this rapid right here, and I was watching my bobber, and that thing went bonk bonk. And it's a nice fish. I don't know where I'm gonna land them here. Hopefully, I can get down about 20 feet. Let's see if I can get this guy. Of course, we don't. We left a net back there. Coming down here. All right, come on, guy. It's a good fish. Oh yeah, that's gotta be a steelhead. Yeah, Steve, it's nice. Oh yeah, there he goes. Whew. Let me grab this net. Oh yeah, I tell you what, 46 years, steelhead, yes, okay, all right, I want to get another one, the spell is broken, the curse of the steelhead exercised, yes. The tip of the week is brought to you by Northwest Outfitters, your outdoor lifestyle store, located in Coeur d'Alene on the corner of Highway 95 and Canfield. So oftentimes by nature where we live, uh, a lot of our pre-runoff fishing takes place in, in March and April, and uh, it, is, it is quite cold out here. So one of the things that's important with all these new breathable fabrics uh, when you get layered up is to put anything under them you so desire other than cotton. Uh, you want to wear like a polypropylene on the skin to wick moisture away, a pair of fleece pants, and I'm completely comfortable in these clothes. So, you know, it's, uh, it's quite cold out here today, and, um, you know, you want to be able to layer properly and remove and add layers as you can. Uh, or, wow, you can just be tough like this guy. <laughs> so, so we're going to speak a little bit about river etiquette today. It's freezing. Freezing. <laughs> 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 Latin refers to uh, to layer with arm hair. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> Pretty good sized fish. It actually jumped out of the water. Uh, it doesn't have as much color, so I'm thinking it might be a, a dolly varden, a bull trout, but I'm not sure yet. It's a good sized fish. Oh, babe. See if we can work it down where the net is. Grab the net here. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a beautiful steelhead right there. Steve brought the powerful steelhead toward the net. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh. Steve! Oh. He's still on there, but I'm not supposed to do that. Oh. Oh. Hands today. Yeah, beautiful. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. oh, the steelhead curse has fallen. Yeah. Fast. And where have we been catching? We've been working that hole all yeah, day long. Uh, all day, yesterday even. And we just decided to move upstream about 20 yards into some faster water. We hit two fish in a half an hour. Yes. 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 Sweet. That, what that's, kind of that's the hot jig. I have no idea what its name is besides jig, but white and red and black. Very nice. Very nice. Good job. You discovered it. Yes. Way to go. Thank you. You're welcome. Gentlemen, I've been a fishing show host for a lot of years. But it's hard to look myself in the mirror and realize that I have not caught a steelhead in my life. But today, gentlemen, I fought the mighty wild steelhead. Are you sure that was a wild steelhead? Okay, so it was a hatchery steelhead, fine. But anyway, it was a tough battle. It took me probably 30 minutes to 45 minutes. But today I joined you, gentlemen, the fraternity of steelhead fishermen. Today, gentlemen, I am a steelhead fisherman! Great acting, thank you. 